Hi guys, so today I thought I'd take you through my weekly meal prep. I don't meal prep all my meals, I only really tend to do dinner and I usually make four a week because on the other three days I either have time to cook or maybe I'm eating out or whatever. So I'll make two meals, two lots of each, I'll take you along. None of this is amazingly complicated cooking, in fact it's really really simple and also really really cheap. What I hope to show you in this video is not some inspiring, beautiful creation worthy of Instagram, but that regardless of how much time or money you have, it's still perfectly easy to A, meal prep and B, eat healthily. I hear so many students saying, I don't have time to cook, I don't have time to cook. I'm gonna time this session just now and show you guys just how quick it really is to make four dinners. Furthermore, on the cost perspective, my weekly shop cost me 14 euros and 22 cents. And okay, add on maybe a little bit more for things like meeting friends for lunch or going out for breakfast or whatever else, but the main bulk of my meals, 14 euros and 22 cents. That's it. Don't tell me you can't afford to be healthy. But that doesn't mean I don't like myself at expensive and very unhealthy cheeky dominoes every now and again. It's all about the balance. The time is now 10.50, let's get started. Every week I make a rough meal plan. Here we go, I've discussed this before. I like to have a rough idea of what I'm doing but not over planning. Just basic lunch, basic dinner. Going to be making two meals today. First of all, a lentil bolognese and secondly, a mock chicken and mushroom dish. I'm gonna make both of those with spaghetti I think I just have enough. The first step is to scan the items onto my fitness pal um, for the dinners for the next two nights and then I'll also write the information on these labels so when I come to the meals later on in the week I can just type it in super easy. So for lentil bolognese I'm going to be using two 40 gram servings of spaghetti, 150 grams of grated carrots. This is an example of a place that I could save money. I didn't need to buy them pre-grated, but we all have our little lazy things. I'm going to have 265 grams of lentils and then 400 grams of chopped tomatoes. And I'm going to season that with some cumin, Italian mixed spice and paprika. And that all comes one serving to a total of 353 calories. Let's get cooking. Does anyone else get really impatient waiting for your water to boil? Like, we have an expression in Scotland which is a watch pot never boils and that is definitely true. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna cook my spaghetti for my mushroom and mock chicken as well because it would be silly to cook it separately. You <laughs> might as well do all the spaghetti at once. I think it dropped a bit. Difficult cooking we're doing here. So while my spaghetti is bubbling away, I'm going to make a start on preparing the stuff for my mock chicken and mushroom spaghetti. For this, I'm going to use another two 40 gram servings of spaghetti, which I've got cooking. I'm going to have 175 grams of this mock meat chicken replacement, um, 400 grams of chopped tomatoes, 400 grams of mushrooms, and then I'm going to season that with Italian herbs and chili powder because I love spicy things. And you can see that comes to a total of 406 calories for that meal. Spaghetti is bubbling nicely away and it's now time to go back to my lentil bolognese and start to make the actual bolognese section. I've had my lentils, just I rinse them they are pre-cooked lentils so they won't take that long. Add them to the pan. I have to do 
do this with very hard to do this with one hand. Does anyone else have a thing you have to wash up as you go along? I really hate things being dirty. Add my shredded carrots in as well. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. And mix that all together. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need two hands for that. One portion of this meal is gonna be 353 calories and just look at the volume. Everyone tells you this, I know. Eat vegetables, eat vegetables, but it really is true. But find the things you like. You know, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of just having a pile of broccoli or a pile of cauliflower. I like mixing my vegetables into my sauces. I find it means I eat a lot more. And if you know you like me and can sometimes be a bit lazy, it's okay to spend a bit more and buy pre-prepared veggies. I don't do it with everything, peppers, mushrooms, nah, but I just can't be bothered to peel my carrots. Great, nah. <laughs> Judge me if you want. I'm now gonna add my flavoring in. A super, super easy way to reduce calories is make your own sauces, tin tomatoes and flavorings. It really, really isn't hard. So much better for you and it's cheaper as well. gosh this both looks and smells amazing and like I said before so much volume like a whole pan love it now that's my spaghetti all cooked and drained so I'm gonna portion it out into four boxes I just eyeball this I am then going to pop two of the portions over to the side for later and then add two of them into my lentil bolognese mix so I can stir it all up, get the sauce distribution on point. It's done, now time to portion it out into my two boxes. I really need to invest in some bigger boxes actually, I'm hoping this is gonna fit. Now time to go on to my mock chicken and mushroom mix. I've already prepped my spaghetti, so first things first, chop the mushrooms. Got my mushrooms, 400 grams, all chopped up and cooking away. I'm just gonna add a little bit of my seasoning, some chili powder, which is very hard to get out with one hand, and some Italian seasoning. Tidy workspace, tidy mind or something like that. Can't be dealing with mess. I'm quite lucky that my housemate is quite tidy because living with messy people just, I don't like it. Now time to add in the mock chicken. Filming food has made me realise how nice it would be to have a nice filming camera, but I think I really have to have been YouTubing properly for like six months before, at least before I can justify the investment. This is fine, you guys get the idea. Time to add the chopped tomatoes. <laughs> And 
and time to add in my two spaghetti things, mix them up. And that is meal number two, all finished. Try time to portion up and we are done. Eleven fifty four, basically an hour later, finished. And there we have it. One hour and about two minutes, four completed meals, two lentil bolognese and two mock chicken and mushroom. Maybe they're not the prettiest thing, my poor quality phone filming isn't helping, but they'll taste good, super nutritious, low in calories. Next time I see these will be for eating. There's something very satisfying about just opening your fridge and having your meals all there. So I hope I've shown you guys that cooking doesn't have to be difficult, doesn't have to be expensive and you can still be healthy. Even if you have limited funds, time or resources. Heck, I don't even have an oven in my student kitchen and I still manage. Next time you say you don't have time, I want you to honestly ask yourself, do I really not have time or am I choosing to spend my time doing something else? My mum always used to say to me, you have to embrace being a busy person. If you don't want to be busy, that's fine. Take your time to watch Netflix, YouTube. But if you choose to be busy, then you have to accept that that's your decision that you made and own it. You gotta learn to love the life. Ta-ta for now.